Hello everybody, Dr. Carlo Ogier, Board Certified Emergency Physician with DrER.TV. Of course, if you're here, you're watching EDX Video Pro, which is a channel dedicated to the healthcare enthusiasts, students, nurses, young doctors, or anyone else who wants to learn about medicine. Um, go subscribe to this expert's YouTube page. So, yeah, take that advice. Anyway, we're going to talk about a case. Seven-month-old male infant presented with fever for two days and a rash for one day. The patient had received the diagnosis of croup one way week before admission. Physical examination revealed hypotension, low blood pressure, and a purpuric, that means a purple-like lesion with surrounding erythema over the right thigh and buttock. Laboratory testing revealed low blood count, anemia, neutropenia, low white count, and hyponatremia. The buttock lesion evolved into a gangrenous escar with a central dusky necrosis followed by surrounding halo 12 hours later, so it progressed quite a bit. Here's the initial lesion. You can see the redness, uh, purplish area, and the redness around, so definitely would indicate some kind of infection. So if we would have seen this in the emergency department initially, definitely start the patient on antibiotics, maybe do an ultrasound to find out if there's focal pus that needed to be drained and then treat as necessary. Uh, the patient would give me antibiotics, warm soaks, maybe sent home if he didn't look very sick, uh, but it progressed to this, a very large hematoma-like picture, but this is the hematoma part, right? But look at the redness going around, so is it still infectious or something like that? Well, we don't know yet, let's find out the diagnosis. So. This is something called ectema gangrenosum. It's caused by Pseudomonas originosa, which is a bacteria. Both the blood and tissue cultures yielded non-resistant Pseudomonas originosus. Invasive Pseudomonas infection is a rare but lethal disease with high mortality rate. Early diagnosis and prompt antibiotic are crucial for successful treatment. Ectema gangrenosum refers to the cutaneous manifestations after peripheral bacterial invasion of the media and adventitia of the blood vessels and is usually caused by invasive pseudomonas infection. Initially, skin lesion presents as painless, pink, and shallow macules and may mimic diaper rash or contact dermatitis. So initially, we're gonna miss this. Secondary ischemic necrosis can develop rapidly and central darkness evolves into a necrotic, a dead tissue ulcer that extends through the whole epidermis and dermis, giving the punched out appearance. Finally, the necrotic escar is shed because ectema gangrenosum is highly suggestive of invasive pseudomonas infection treatment involve anti antibiotics and fasciotomy. This kid actually needed surgery to remove the bad tissue. The necrotic escar become mature and slot off after a week, but unfortunately, this little kid died 10 days later. This is a very, very bad infection. And um, I thought I had pictures. So, so this is the initial picture. Something that looked pretty inoffensive, maybe an abscess or a little cellulitis. Progressed to that, and then ultimately led to a bad, bad infection. Let me see if I have another picture of what it looked like um, later on. I actually do not. So I'm sorry about that. Um, but ectema pyoderma, what would it say? There we go. Ectema gangrenosum is an escar lesion. It's caused by pseudomonas infection. And it is a lethal, very, a very bad disease. It can start looking very mild, progress to this, and eventually this becomes an escar or a black kind of scab uh, as the patient progresses and the infection becomes worse and worse. So um, that's it. I hope you learned something today. Help to recognize this diagnosis, ectema gangrenosum by Pseudomonas originosa. And that's it, guys. We'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.